My name is Danny LeBlanc. I'm the director of the Charles Hayden Planetarium here at the Museum of Science in Boston. I've always had an interest in the concepts of astronomy. I've always been interested in who we are as humans, how we fit into the universe, how we know what we know about the universe. And I realized somewhere in my educational career that it wasn't the research that was getting me excited about astronomy. It was really about the concepts and conveying that excitement to the people around me. So this is our main interface. We use this every day for our shows with school groups and for our shows with the public that involve a live presenter. I have controls over the planets and the moons and the different things that we're seeing around those, you know, different ways to see the Earth from space, different things we can do with Mercury, different things with Venus, a whole lot that we can do with Mars because Mars is a very popular choice. So we've built those out a little bit. And then I have this button, which loads the universe, which looks a little bit like that. We make the most densely packed areas of galaxies red, less dense becomes yellow, and then the filaments of galaxies and the strings of galaxies become blue. And then we see this spider web structure, which we call the cosmic web. Astronomy has changed tremendously, even in just the last 20 years. We've learned about black holes, the scale of the universe, gravity waves, all of these are just new developments. So helping people find the connections of these very, very intangible concepts, I think is really important. We have many, many different things that we do here in the planetarium. We present shows, we produce shows. We really have a very full schedule. Among our team of nine full-time staff, we have media producers, content creators, visualizers, astronomy educators. Everybody's a little bit of everything and everybody kind of learns from everybody else. Um, and I sort of oversee all of that. The feature films that we show here, most of them are developed entirely in-house with the Museum of Science staff. Destination Mars is a show that explores what NASA and its partners are doing to get humans back to the moon and eventually back to Mars. Together, we all work on the scripts, we create the visuals. Here's the Mars base that we mocked up. So we have astronauts here. This red line uh, is the camera path. Because of this immersive space that we have, you know, people can experience things in a way more, I would say, personal way than they would on like a flat screen and a way more invested way. Um, there's no other space like it really in the city of Boston. So we try to really maximize and capitalize on that fact. We do all of the things that you would expect from a planetarium. And then at night, we just do so much more. Can you believe you're watching Drag in the Museum of Science? The past few years we've been doing these summer experiments called Summer Thursdays, and they're meant to push the medium, the space, and our artists into areas that they otherwise wouldn't go if we were just sticking to traditional programming. We've done tons of live music. We have movies, we have gaming, we've done trivia, we've done improv comedy. Just last week, we had a dance party exactly where we're standing. Um, and for the museum, it actually brings a whole different kind of audience. You know, adults, couples, people looking for something to do on a Thursday night can come and have something, a wildly different experience than what they could experience like anywhere else. And for our creative artists, they get to kind of play with all of these different things that they just love to dabble in. This is a really cool thing that was not possible in planetariums before digital technology happened. I hope in the future that we'll continue to push what people's expectations are of planetariums, that people will come here and continue to get excited about the astronomy, but also get excited about the merging of art and science and technology in our space. It is sort of like a dream job. <laughs>